مرحبا فيكم بحلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الأسبوعي بدازل طبعا فريق عمل بدازل وبي فور يو عودوكم دائما يكونوا سباقين بأي حدث فني بصير هون بالإمارات واليوم الفقرة رح تكون مخصصة عن الموسيقى الهندية البطلة تبع هالفقرة هي فتاة من تورنتو قدرت تعمل فيديوهات على اليوتيوب وهالفيديوهات قدرت تحقق نجاح كبير لدرجة انه خلتها تشارك المسرح مع اكبر الموسيقيين في الهند خلونا نتعرف اكثر بهالروبرتاج سرينا ويلكم تو بدازل ثانك يو ثانكس فور هافينغ مي فروم يوتيوب تو تيكينغ سنتر ستيج ات اكسبو لاست تايم يو هاد هاو ديز فيل تيل اس اباوت ذا جيرني اوه ماي جاش اتس بين كويت ذا جيرني اي وود سي اي فيل اكستريملي غريتفول Um, and I'm just really happy that I'm getting to do what I love on such a grand scale and that there are people out there who support what I do. And I'm working with people I've always dreamt of working with. I mean, Mr. A.R. Rahman is definitely on every, at least South Asian singers list, bucket list of people who they want to work with, right? And the fact that I got to work with him so early in my career and that that association has continued till now and we're performing together now at Expo 2020 Dubai. It's pretty unreal. It's pretty surreal, yeah. So you've been part of AR Rahman's group. You've also been part of Sonu Nigam's group. And yes. In fact, yeah. you started with Sonu Nigam, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Yes, yes. Okay, so you answer this probably many times. Of all the YouTube uploads that you've had, which is that one song that people, you, you made you stand out and people say, hey, lucky, you know, this girl is going to make it big. Which was that one song? <laughs> I think you know the answer to this one. I think, I mean... From from what I mean, the feedback that I got when it came out, I think it was Pani Darang. I did a cover of the song Pani Darang by Aishwarya Khurana for Vicky Donor, and we had done like a very different spin on the song, a very desi dholak type, you know, vibe. Me and Akash Gandhi and Sahil on the flute. So um, we all worked remotely. We were just aware of each other's work online. We reached out through Facebook, I think, and then yes. started working together. Yeah, it's a it's a crazy world now, and then started doing this stuff virtually. Uh, we shot our footage, we, we edited it together and then put it on YouTube and then the response was just like so warm, it was crazy. People in Bollywood were tweeting about it. Um, so we were just like, wow, the power of YouTube, the power of the internet. Um, we had no idea what was <laughs> what was about to happen. But that's how it all began. So that then became Canada to India to... Yeah, um, I think around the same time as when I started touring with Sonu Ji, he was looking for a female artist for his tour in 2012 and I think through like the local promoters I was performing around Toronto for the, yeah. the many years prior to that I was already known as like the girl who sings and all that um, and so I guess I was recommended and then they sent my videos and I, I think some of my videos with Akash were I guess considered as a demos um, for that tour and then yeah I got called to perform and then there was no turning back I ended up touring with him throughout for the next few years in India as well so which is that uh, breakout song of yours and playback singing. Play singing. Um, I think my most popular song till date is the breakup song. Oh. What do you think about? <laughs> my That's breakout fun. song is breakup song um, from Edil Hai Mushkil which is a song by Preetam Da. Uh, other than that though, uh, my first, I think my, my debut was Jenna Express with yes. Michelle Shaker, yeah. You've sung in so many languages. How hard is to get the diction right in Tamil and Malayalam and Telugu particularly? Yeah, it's pretty hard, <laughs> but it's just one of those things where you just keep working at it. The more time you put in, I feel like that's always correlated to how good you get it and how well you pronounce the words. I just try to make sure I'm surrounded by people who are picky because I don't know the languages, unfortunately. I wish I did. I wish I could understand all of them, but um, I just literally surrender to the people in the room. But that, that's literally the challenge. You're actually seeing something which you don't know what it means and, you know, you just yeah. kind of emote. Yeah, also. it's not, honestly it sounds like gibberish initially. Yeah. It's yeah. just sounds. But then as you keep doing it, you start recognizing words. Like now I know, okay, I've sung this word before. I've sung this syllable before, the sound before. I recognize the words, it becomes easier and easier over time. And also I've just fallen in love with especially thumber, but also um all it's of wood. I yeah, it's really it's really fun for me. I really enjoy the challenge of singing in languages that I don't speak. Let's hear a few lines. One of your favorite songs. One of my favorite AR Rahman songs. Yes, but I have a probably question. So the question first. Mm -hmm. Is there a recent song that you heard and you wish that I should have sung this? Every song. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But seriously, there's like so many songs that come out. There's like I always take pride in you know um, experimenting with my voice. 
So every time something new comes out that I, that I hear that I'm like, oh, I wouldn't have been the choice for this, I want to be able to sing it. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's sure. like a good time. And that's also why I really love performing on Era Monsters shows is because I get to perform in such different, like a such, a such a variety of music, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. Okay, here's um, a classic. Chinna chinna say, siragari kuma say, mutta mutta say, murindu vaita say, chand taro ko, chune ki asha, Awesome. I was hoping you would do that switch. <laughs> Thank you so much. I switched earlier than I normally do, yeah. to be honest, but Great. I realize more people watching the show probably speak Hindi than Dhamar. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being here, It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. كاي بوتشي هالجمله لما بنقولها تبعت الحماس والمتعه والمنافسه وكيف لا وخاصه بالهند وهالمهرجان هو عباره عن او كاي بوتشي هو عباره عن مهرجان للطائرات الورقيه بصير كل سنه بالهند وبمدن مختلفه وبيجتمعوا فيها الاصدقاء والمعارف والجيران وبصير في منافسه طريفه وهي عباره عن كل واحد بده يحاول يطير طائرته الورقيه بس بنفس الوقت بده يحاول يقطع الطائره الورقيه تبع غيره كرمال هو اللي تم بالاخير ويفوز بس الشيء المميز انه هالسنه رح يتم هذا المهرجان هون بالامارات خلونا نتعرف اكثر عليه بهالروبورتاج هاي بيابتي ويلكم تو بدازلد ثانك يو زورا ميري سنا اب ايورفيديك دكتور هي تو كيا سبيشاليتي هي ابكي ایکچولی آیورویدک از اے اینشینٹ سائنس تو آیورویدا سے ایسے ایونٹس پہ آپ نے سوئچ کیسے کیا میرا پیشن ہے ایونٹ میں چاہتی ہوں کہ اپنے کلچر کو جتنا ہو سکے اتنا پروموٹ کروں سو بیسیکلی میں زیادہ تر کلچرل ایونٹس کرتی ہوں دین کارپوریٹ اینڈ فیشن بٹ مین میرا کلچرل ایونٹ ہے کہ لوگوں تک پہنچے ان لوگوں کو پتہ چلے کہ ہمارا کلچر انڈین کلچر کیا ہے سو آیورویدک سے یہ ایونٹ میں آنے کا ایک ہی مقصد ہے کہ اپنے کلچر کو پروموٹ کرنا اچھا تو دو سال بعد یہ پورے کووڈ لاک ڈاؤن کے بعد یہ کائٹ فیسٹیول ہو رہا ہے یہاں پہ تو کیسا لگ رہا ہے آپ کو میں بہت خوش ہوں بہت زیادہ ایکسائٹیڈ ہوں کیونکہ یہ لوگوں کو اتنے ٹائم کے بعد دو سال لوگ بہت سارے لوگ آپ کو بھی پتہ ہوگا ڈپریشن پہ بھی چلے گئے تھے گھر پہ بیٹھے رہے تھے اور اتنے ڈرے ہوئے تھے تو کچھ اچھا آ رہا ہے بگ بینک کے ساتھ اور یہ پورا فیملی ایونٹ ہے تو بچوں کے ساتھ اپنے پیرنٹس کے ساتھ سب لوگ اتنا خوش ہیں ایکسائٹیڈ ہے لوگ مجھے کال کرتے ہیں اور بولتے ہیں کہ میم وی آر ریئلی ریئلی ایکسائٹیڈ ٹو کم ان یور ایونٹ کہ اتنے ٹائم کے بعد ہم کچھ بڑا کر رہے ہیں اور کائٹ فلائنگ اٹس لائک انڈیا میں بہت اچھی طریقے سے منایا جاتا ہے اور دبئی میں بھی ماشاء اللہ بہت اچھا کریں گے This event is in Creek Park, Dubai, Oud Mehta Road, Gate No. 1, Children's City, which is a whole beach area. And how many people are expected in this event? We are expecting more than 1,500 people. Like my previous kite, there were 2,000 people. But there is a little bit of Omicron. But yeah, we expect that there will be 1,000 people, definitely. And the sky will look amazing and very colorful. Because in the kites, there are so many good varieties. तो पूरा स्काई इतना प्यारा और कलरफुल लगने वाला है डेफिनेटली थैंक यू सो मच व्याप्ति शो पे आने के लिए आपसे बात करके बहुत अच्छा लगा ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट फॉर योर इवेंट थैंक यू सो मच और हल रह रूह ला इस्तिराह असीरा और निर्जान के फिल हल असवा सुजाता मोहन इसम ग्लामर और कबीर बिल गिना इल हिंदी और बिल मुसीका इल ह بس الشيء الجديد انه بنت شويتا موهان كمان سلكت نفس الطريق خلونا نتعرف اكثر على شويتا موهان بهالروبورتاج شويتا ويلكم تو بيدازل نمشكار يو هاف هاد ذا لونجست بوسيبل اسوسيشن وذ يار ايمان سر يو ستارتد وذ هيم وات ذا ايج اوف 10 يا فروم وات اندرا يا اوكي سو تيل اس هاو ديد ذات هابن سو اس يو اول نو ماي موم از سجاتا موهان اند شي واز ان ريمان سرز كامب فور ا ريلي لونج تايم اند Uh, for Bombay, he was looking for children's choir and uh, he knew that my mom had a little daughter and he just asked her, can you send your daughter over? And my mom said, no, 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 she won't sing. He said, no, 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 it's okay, just children's chorus, it'll be fun, just send. So uh, we went and it was me with another girl. We sang, kuchi kuchi rakama pundalena. And then the journey began. Yes, and then Kuchi Kuchi Rakama in the same movie. Gulla Gulla, Halla Gulla, 
that one and then uh, if you've heard indira she acham acham millai ini hadi mai enna millai so all those were children's chorus and then from children to adulthood and all you're still here with air aman he still yeah, has the same yeah. magic your voice is getting better and better is <laughs> you've sung in so many languages as is has language ever been a barrier when you come coming to uh, you know coming when it comes to recording a song or playback or performing on stage so far no okay yeah okay thankfully everything uh, language wise it's absolutely okay, yeah, sorry. okay. Yeah. so is there any recent song that you've heard and you wish yaar i should have sung this song <laughs> hi meri param 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 i param love somebody. that song and i sing it for all my uh, online concerts we've been having online concerts so i sing it for all my online concerts and i enjoy it every single time but nevertheless i'm such a fan of shreya ji in that song so <laughs> yeah she is amazing and again it's you know rehman sir's composition so let's hear a few lines from your favorite song ishq bina Awesome, awesome. What a beautiful song. Brilliant composition, <laughs> brilliant singing. Wish your mom from our side saying that we really want to hear more of her. I will do that. Thank okay. you. Shweta, <laughs> thanks for talking to us. اغلبنا بنهتم باجسادنا وبصحتنا الجسديه وهالشيء كثير منيح بس بنغفل عن صحتنا العقليه وخلينا نقول كيف نهتم بمشاعرنا وافكارنا وهالشيء كثير ضروري لانه اذا اهتمينا بمشاعرنا وافكارنا هالشيء راح ينعكس على اجسادنا خلينا نشوف هالفقره مع فيديو Today let's talk about increasing our self esteem and silencing our inner critic Our self esteem was formed before the age of 5 and that's why i want you today to look at your position in your family if you're the eldest you would tend to be more responsible and people pleasing like me if you're a middle child you may probably end up being a rebel or seeking attention because probably nobody had the time to give you the attention if you're the youngest you could often be a sick child and a sick adult always looking for sickness to get the love that you didn't get so once you see your position in your family You can now understand how you behave and act based on the beliefs that you formed as a child. So now be your own loving parent and give yourself the praise that you always wanted to hear. Self praise is the best medicine for high self esteem. Because when you praise yourself there is no hidden agenda unlike when others praise you because they want something from you. So make self praise familiar from today. So while you boost your self esteem with self praise look out for that inner critic within you who is trying to bring you down all the time so criticism affects you only when you let it in so i'll share with you some easy simple tips to follow next time when somebody criticizes you or even when you criticize yourself people who criticize others are those who don't feel good about themselves so the only way they can feel good about themselves is to put you down the first tip when somebody criticizes you is just tell them smilingly thank you for sharing if that doesn't work then you can say i didn't hear that could you repeat it and most of the time when you say that people stop because now they know that their criticism will not affect you and few people will still go ahead and criticize you So to these people you can say are you trying to hurt me and since we are sharing feelings do you know that critical people reserve the most criticism for themselves 
So now you saw how to silence the criticism around you. But what do you do when the inner critic inside you comes up? So just tell your mind, thank you for sharing, but that's not me and that will never be me. Remember how I had shared to teach your children to create their own inner cheerleader or coach? Now it's time for you to create your own coach or cheerleader. So as your inner cheerleader's voice goes higher and higher, your inner critic voice will go lower and lower. Remember, the best way to counter self-criticism is self-acceptance. So I want each one of you to go in front of your mirror and look at all the amazing things that you see. Write that down. And next time your inner critic raises voice, remind yourself how good you are, how amazing you are, and how enough you are. وهلا صار وقت بريك اصير ونرجع نكفي خلونا نشوف هالفقره المهنيه مع شين وبيتر It's career tip time and today we're talking about virtual interviews with covid and with the increasing expansion of digital tools Most companies have moved to video interviewing as the first and often second or third interaction with their candidates. So it's very likely if you apply for a job, your first interaction with the organization will be through a video interview. Today, we'll talk about how to ace that video interview. A couple of key things you want to do is number one, go and get a high quality webcam. Don't use the integrated camera in your laptop because it's also about your position while you're doing the interview. You don't want to be looking down into the camera. You want to use a more professional camera that's looking down on you and you're getting that nice aesthetic. Number two, dress as if you're going into the office. In your profession, if they wear a tie in the office, wear a tie. If they don't, wear the dress that is appropriate in your industry and be dressed as if you're going into the office. Number three, please be groomed. Shave yourself. Do your hair, uh, do your makeup, whatever it is, depending on what's appropriate for business formal dress in your industry. And those are three quick tips that I would definitely recommend you take. Those are some great tips. Additional tips here is to use your background to your advantage if you can. So I always recommend a bookshelf behind you with some interesting books that will give credibility to your candidacy. If you're not able to do that, then use a filter or something that means that the person interviewing you is not looking through into your kitchen or into your bathroom or into your personal life. So try to present that professional image in this first moment of truth in the interview. Additionally, if you're not able to have a high quality bandwidth in the place that you live, go to a place where you do. Perhaps even renting a a place, a co-working facility for the day, in order to make sure that you're able to have high-quality internet connection with the person on the other side, that they're seeing the best version of you. And then the final element then is eliminate all of the distractions. I know it's really cute to have the cat or the dog or your child running across the the background when you've started in a company. But in an interview, this can potentially present a less professional image and it can distract the interviewer from understanding what you would bring to the role. So with those tips, good luck in your video interview. This is Shane and Pete wishing all of your dreams come true. وهلا صار موعدنا والجرعه الترفيهيه الاسبوعيه، اكيد عرفتوا عن شو عم بحكي، عن الفقره الفنيه مع سانتوش. Watch me if you can again. Today we're going to be talking about Pushpa, the Telugu film that released alongside 83 and Spider-Man. Spider-Man literally set the box office on fire, and 83 was appreciated by every single person that I know. Sadly, didn't bring in the money as much. Pushpa was an underdog film, literally, because the film is about an underdog, an underprivileged person who then rises to the ranks. <laughs> So Pushpa is doing rocking business. Funnily, the Tamil and the Malayalam version is out on Prime. The Telugu and the Hindi version are doing so well that they are not out on OTT yet. But let's talk about the film. 
Allu Arjun is in a de-glamorized role of an underprivileged kid born out of wedlock who does odd jobs in a land that he's born with, which is filled with red gold, which is sandalwood. So the film is essentially about sandalwood smuggling. We have seen similar plots in other films such as KGF and Veerappan. Uh, but anyway, so Pushparaj, this kid, rises to the ranks. He starts doing odd jobs and slowly climbs the ladder and runs the nexus of sandalwood smuggling. Um, his love interest is played by Rashmika Mandana, who has a firebrand attitude and then later uh, submits to becoming his wife. Directed by Sukumar, who gave us the immensely popular Rangasthalam, which featured Ram Saran. Um, the film is doing wonderful. It is what makes the film different is the screenplay and Allu Arjun's performance Ash Pushpa. The film also features Fahad Fazal in a bald, menacing role as Shekhawat, but he comes towards the latter half of the film, but this is just part one. Pushpa, The Rise, ends on a cliffhanger. Let's see what happens in part two coming soon. Until then, watch it in whichever language you want to. The Telugu and Hindi are on cinemas and Tamil and Malayalam are on OTT. And a flower and kunte ya, fire. I read yesterday that I know what you did last summer. The series on Prime is not being renewed for season two, which prompted me to watch season one. So, the 1997 film, the slasher film, which was immensely popular, gave us some very uh, notable talents such as Jennifer Ho Levitt. And Sarah Michelle Gellar, who then became popular with Buffy the Vampire Slayer, also featured uh, Freddie Prince Jr. So the film was a blockbuster. It was a teenage slasher flick. It was suspense. It was thrilling. In about 90 minutes, it gave us all the entertainment that it deserves. The series fails on so many accounts. To begin with, for a slasher flick, it is eight hours too long. Each episode, eight episodes. Each episode is about an hour long. It's too long and too slow. Has a lot of talk and less. Uh, Slash, if you know what I mean. So, what is it about? It's about twin sisters, Alison and Lennon. Um, one of them has too many vices and is very wild. The other one has a laid-back attitude and uh, is not so popular. They have a graduation party. The sisters have a fight. Lennon gets on behind the wheel and drives along with her friends who are uh, high on substances. On the road, they think they hit a goat, but it turns out that they killed Alison by mistake. Turns out that it was Alison behind the meal, and they accidentally kill Lennon, and they leave her to die on the rocks of the beach in uh, Hawaii. Uh, the girl confides with her father. The father is supporting, so Alison becomes Lennon. Lennon is what who is alive according to her friends. But अब जो रवीना पहले थी वो अब करिश्मा है. It's something like that. It's too confusing. Uh, but it takes a long time to uh, come to the point. Um, it has suddenly a lot of cult following. Um, They lose the girls lose a mother when they were eight. She comes to life 15 years later. So all that, don't watch it. Uh, season two नहीं आने वाली है. तो पुष्पा देख लीजिए instead. It's on the same platform. I'll see you all next week. ولهون بتكون خلصت حلقتنا لهالاسبوع. بس موعدنا كالعادة بيتجدد الاسبوع الجاي بنفس الوقت مع حلقة جديدة وفقرات أكثر.